So for the past week or so, I have been working on three major projects that's going on in my garage. That is the solo kayak trailer that you see behind me here. It is just gonna be a single kayak trailer so I can haul the Hobie. Got a lot of big stuff coming up for it. I'll update you a little bit on that in today's video. I have been working on the camping trailers kind of behind you right over here. If I can spin the camera without getting y'all dizzy. I'm adding a diesel heater to that for the tent and we're gonna be testing it out very soon. I'm buttoning up the rest of that video today. So look for that coming out very soon but i've also recently added where's it at that guy right there that is a 1991 easy go golf cart that i'm converting into what i'm calling the camping cart and the last few days i've added a lot to it i've updated the battery system and i've actually just added a ton of lights to it a light bar across the top underglows tail whip lights a new control panel all kind of stuff i got wired up to this thing and i kind of wanted to make a video today update you guys on where i'm at with that show you these really cool lights that i got added and i'll even touch base on these other projects today so y'all stick around What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. So like I just said, we're gonna jump over on the single kayak trailer first, show you a couple of small things. I hadn't done a lot, but I did just strike a cool deal with a company. So we're gonna be adding some cool stuff to that soon. I'll go over that with you real quick. I'll show you the heater install, how that's coming along, but there will be a separate video on exactly how I did it coming up. And then we'll hop over to the golf cart and I'll cut the lights on. I'll cut the lights off in the shop and show you these really cool lights from Oxbeam they sent out to me. I totally decked this cart out. So let's hop over to the first trailer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here is my DIY kayak trailer. If you haven't been following along, this was an old, old bass boat trailer, like a super old trailer. And I kind of re purposed it for a kayak trailer. I cut the front tongue off. We extended the whole front tongue. Basically everything from right here forward is brand new on this trailer and I've redone the lights. Um, we're going to be adding different fenders and some wheels very soon. So I'm working with a company right now. I think it's always hard for people whenever they're building these kayak trailers to find any other wheels really than what's on it like those plain white ones or the plain silver ones or the galvanized like you see everybody's running i wanted some really cool rims i wanted something like what i put on the camping trailer there and i reached out to a company and i've been working back and forth with them so i think we've got a deal struck up so the next video will be the full walk around video of this trailer and it's going to have the new wheels the paint job the new lighting all the way around it and it's gonna be the full just how I built it. So y'all look out for that video. I did add one small thing this week I'll share with you. And a subscriber actually suggested it. So those ratchet straps that we bolted down on the last video, I changed the hooks out. So if you look, I have swapped the regular factory just tow hooks out for these carabiners. And the reason I done that was, let me throw it over here is because the guy in the comments, I don't know which one of you it was, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name, but you uh, commented and said that you would swap these regular hooks out because if the kayak bounces on the trailer, the hook can come out of this eye bolt and cause issues. So that's what I did. I got on Amazon, ordered these heavy duty carabiners, and now I can lock it on, cinch the kayak down tight, and know that no matter what happens, this is not going to come off this eye bolt and I, you know, it's a lot safer and it might actually save me from losing my kayak. So yeah, y'all be on the lookout for the next video and maybe the one, a couple of videos out. But once we get the wheels in, I will completely finish this trailer build and give you guys a full walk around. And this over here is the other project that I, everything's kind of going on at the same time i've been waiting for parts for this build while i've been waiting for parts for this build while i've been waiting for parts for this build so it's all kind of getting done at the same time so this is the heater install and there's going to be a full video of the bracket and all that but the plan is i should be able to have this tied in with the exhaust running up under the trailer it's going to be remote controlled i've actually got a little remote for this heater and i'll be able to actually pop the tent out open it up and run some duct work straight up to the tent and have nice clean dry heat because it's cold outside right now and it, i do not want to sleep in that tent with the temperature that it is so this is going to come in handy so 
Now we can get back. Oh yeah, let me show you guys this. This is a new co cooler that's out on the market by Rugged Road Outdoors. And I'm, I'm gonna have a video on this and a bunch of new gear that I got very soon. It's gonna kind of be like a, a new gear for 2022 review, but I just opened this a little while ago. It looks really cool. It's, it, it almost looks like just your plain basic cooler, but then you pick it up and it weighs nothing. It's like the world's lightest, toughest cooler. So it's really cool, but I'll have a review on that with some other gear, like kind of sneak peek behind there. I've got some other stuff that we're just gonna do one video and I'll show you a bunch of cool new stuff that's out on the market. But for now, I wanna show you guys this in today's video. This is the main objective of me filming out here today. So I installed a bunch of lights and they are all by our today's sponsor, which is Oxbeam. And so all of the lights that I'm about to show you, you can actually get on oxbeam.com. I'll have it linked in the video description. You can go click the link and go to their website. It's a great website. They got all kind of the coolest lights. It is very nice, heavy duty, same lights that I actually installed on this trailer. As you can see, I got the same lights, got the pods here. I, and I specifically requested this light because I was already familiar with how nice it was on that trailer. So they sent the same one out for this trailer. So all of this you see today, you can get on their website. They got a bunch of cool stuff. Prices are great. The shipping is great. And I really love it. So let me show you exactly what I got going on and how cool it is. So this is the old Easy Go. I think it's a 91 Easy Go golf cart that I've been working on. I did a lift and all kind of cool stuff. I'll get you caught up if you want to watch. I think there's a I'll put a card right here. You can actually see the first video I've done talking about it, but we've lifted it. I've put some wheels on it. Uh, I've covered the seats. It, it was really old. It was on the, it was my, actually my mother-in-law's golf cart for years and years. And it just kind of got rode around the property up there. So anyway, I brought it home on Thanksgiving and we kind of started working on it. And if you can see under here, this was a 36 volt golf cart and I recently converted it. So I took out all of the batteries. It had six, six volt batteries in here and I converted it to 312s. Now I know I'm not gonna get the same distance or the same life out of the 312s, but we're just gonna be riding around the campgrounds and here at the house. So it's not really a big deal, but I got everything wired up yesterday and I wired up the RGB eight gang switch panel from Oxbeam. This bad boy right here is the same one that I actually used over here and I'll show you guys. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know what I'm talking about. See, I've got this one here. This is the uh, blue one and I got the green one for the golf cart. So let me show you that really quick. If I can get this camera in here, let's see. So what I did was I made a little switch over here that couldn't hold the full power. Come on, focus. And so right now I've got the top row installed. Well, I don't have the radio yet, but I did put one there for the radio. But we got the light bar, which you can see just kind of kicked on across the shop and the whip and the underglows. Now, I'll show you how bright everything is. Now it's all RGB, check that out. And then I've got the low glows and they're all, right now I think I got them on color changing mode, except for the light bar. It's just the plain white, but this was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. Now these are mainly designed for like razors and stuff, but I really wanted to try these out on the golf cart and there's so many functions. It's got like this remote control, if I can get it to focus and you can just change the functions. Look at the colors. How cool is that? And they are super, super bright. I'll cut the lights off in here in just a minute so you can see them. But these also come with an app that you can download on your phone that I can control the low glows, I can control the whips in the back, and I can control the light bar on the front. So I can make them do just about whatever just by changing or hitting a button. I mean, you can see all the different functions and it just goes through everything. And you can work it with the remote or the app or you can just go to a solid color. You can also wire these up. So if you do this on a razor or a four wheeler, you can wire these up for blinkers 
or brake lights or anything like that. So it, they come with the extra wires and the diagrams that show you exactly how to do it. So you can wire these up just about any way you want to. I really just like the, what is it, the auto? Let's see, that, that right there, that is just so cool. And then they got all the other stuff that makes it look like it's dripping up and then dripping down. But everything is wired up to the eight gang switch panel. And as you can see, I still got more. So that's just the top four because I plan on putting a radio here and I made a spot for the 30 amp right there. So I think the first two are 30 amps and you got 20 amps, 10 amps and five amps. So I saved this 30 amp right here for whenever we add the radio soon, I'll be doing that. So, and I'll update you guys on every time, every time I add a few things to this, I'll update y'all. But what's cool about this, this switch panel is it comes with, oh, if I can show you in here, I don't know how much light I got, but it comes with its own fuse panel and breaker switch. And the fuses, everything's labeled. So anybody can do this. You wire everything straight to the fuse panel, and then you got your red and black wire that comes straight off to a battery. Right now, I've just got it run to a little lithium battery because I didn't want my lights running off the same battery as the golf cart. So that way, if I do run the little battery dead with the lights, I won't be stranded out somewhere and using the juice from my, my running battery. I don't wanna do that. But that is the golf cart right now. Let me cut these lights off and I'll show you how bright it is actually. Well, I don't have them all cut off. I got one burning left in here so I can see, but as you can see, this thing looks super cool. I've got the front one just on a red light so it's not so bright, but the low glows, these are rock lights. Let's see if I can even show you one of them under there. Yeah, there they are. They're heavy duty. Those things are actually made to go up under truck and, and like the frame of the truck or in the wheelbase. So they're made to take some damage. I've actually got eight of those. I've got three up under each side of the cart. And then I went ahead and stuck one up under each side of the dash. So it's actually pretty neat. So you're definitely, if you see me at the campground this summer, you'll know it's me, especially if it's dark and I'm riding this thing around the campground. And I think these tail whip antennas, you can even set them up to go with music. Let's see. They do all kinds of stuff. I could probably sit here for an hour and play with this and show you guys all the different stuff that these things actually do. And you can do the same thing with the rock lights. You can have them strobe different colors, wrap around the cart, all kind of cool stuff. So I do have a lot more mods to do to this camping cart that I've got going on here. I'm gonna add a windshield, a front bumper. I'm gonna probably paint it to match the Tacoma and just add a radio and a bunch of other cool stuff. I'm not gonna make this a weekly video deal on here. We're still gonna be focusing on the kayak build and the kayak trailer build, but I am gonna be building this kind of in the background on the side. And what I'll do is once I get everything finalized on this, I get it how I like it, I'll make a final walkthrough video and let you guys know how the batteries are holding up and kind of stuff like that, stuff that I think you may be interested in. So this is not its final state. I'm gonna save the paint job and the body work for the last thing. So if I gotta drill any holes, I don't do it through something that I've already got painted. So I'm gonna get everything fixed up on it finish it up, paint it to match the truck, probably. I kinda wanna wrap it, but we'll see which way I go there. But this is it. If you're interested in getting some lights like this, if you're building a cart, or heck, if you just wanna put these things on your truck, go to oxbean.com. I'll have it linked in the video description below. If you are building a cart and you're kinda following along with me, this is the 32 inch RGB light. Everything will be linked below, but that, that one specifically is the one that I have on the front. It fits perfect. It's got an app that you can work it with your phone and it's turning out really cool. This is gonna be awesome. If you see me camping like at Lake Gunnersville State Park this summer, and we're just cruising around in this, you'll know it's me just from these lights riding around on this golf cart. So next week, we will probably be back on the heater install. I've got everything in today. We're gonna finish that build, get the heater hooked up. We're gonna take this thing out, test it, run the heater in it and see if it'll actually drop the temperature. Cause right now in Alabama, it's perfect. It's like in the twenties, low thirties. So we should be able to get a good test out of this and see if I can stay overnight in a rooftop tent when it's that cold outside. And also the wheels and tires, they're on their way. So I got a lot of cool stuff coming. The trailer build's coming along, got some cool stuff coming for the Hobie. 
Y'all stay tuned. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to support the channel, hit the join button up under this video, become a member of the Yak Squad. we got a great community there of followers. They've been helping me support the channel so that I can keep putting out this content for you guys. And yeah, that's going to do it for this week's video. Thank you, Oxbeam, for sponsoring this week's video. And I'll catch you guys next Thursday at 2 o'clock. Peace.